What is going on guys? We are playing some more SimCity and actually we're not really playing it today but I was requested to do some like tutorial kind of stuff so I'm going to do a tutorial on all the basic things that you need to know about SimCity if you're new to the game or you're just kind of coming back to it just got it stuff like that and I'm just going to go through that with you guys today and it'll probably be a decent size video because I'm going to try and get through all of it today so you don't have to watch more than one video. So we're going to start out by making a new region. Now you can pick whichever region you want, they progressively get larger. Um, I believe that the biggest one, yes, is Titan Gorge, which has four great works and 16 cities. If you don't already know, each city is not really that big, so you probably don't want to go with a small one, because chances are you're going to fill up one, like a city in a, a day or so if you play pretty fast. And great works are really expensive, so I wouldn't worry too much about having a lot of those. I think some good ones are, you know, that not obviously not that that is two cities in one great work but um you know five cities that's pretty small but i like viridian woods um you know it's it's really big it's as big as titan gorge but it's got really good places to build but you can just kind of go through here see this one's probably pretty good and i believe the one that i'm doing my current let's play on is right here reflection atoll and that's got seven cities and one great works but we're gonna go with the smallest one to start so Cape Trinity, this isn't actually the smallest one, but there's one that's a little bit smaller. So we're going to name this Tutorial World. We're going to make it a private region. You can choose public or private. And if you make it public, do be warned, people will join in claim places. And we're going to make it in sandbox mode just so I can show you guys, you know, what you want to do. And, yep, we can claim a place. So if you click on a place when you start out you can see all the resources that it has so this place does not have shipping but it has rail lines and it's got decent amount of coal or oil water and wind i believe every place has wind and every place has water but they don't always have the three first resources and those can be pretty important if you're trying to major like with those resources like i did a world or a um, city that specialized in oil and that's where it got most of its money from was making you know money off of oil and shipping it out and getting power from it stuff like that and so those are pretty good so let's pick a good place to start I guess we can pick a pick, pick a place that has all the resources so now we can pick, click play and I should start out with a little bit more money than usual in sandbox mode I believe it's I actually don't know. I played this once just to get the uh, feel for the game. But I'll go through uh, the decent you know, beginning stuff that you have to do to get your city up and running. And we'll be going through it at a pretty good pace. So if you need to ever pause, go back to understand something, then feel free to do so. There's no one stopping you. And hopefully it helps you out. And if it does, guys, please just be sure to like because it helps me out a lot. So you can see that we started out with 1 million. Usually you start out with 50,000, but we're in sandbox mode right now. So it's, yeah, it's just letting us kind of build. So you're going to want to find where the highway connects with your place. And for me, that's right here. And that's decently important because I believe that is how people can get to your place from other uh, cities, especially if you play with your friends or mayors can visit, things like that. So first you have a low density dirt road which is the very you know very beginning very cheap doesn't really support big houses you can see it says medium density supported or maximum density supported I'm sorry low and it has a little small building there usually you probably want to start out with low density streets for where your houses are medium density streets for your industrial stuff and high density streets for your kind of main roads but I've begun starting with medium density avenues mainly for the purpose that it's it's the main road and I don't have to worry about upgrading it so you always want to have a big road coming straight off this because people are going to be going in and out of your city a decent amount and you want to kind of get get to a good flat area like I'm doing so Next, we probably want to get the residential area down, so I'm actually going to extend this a bit more. And when you go into a residential area, when you start out, you don't really need to worry about roads. You need to worry about road type. Like, 
you can always upgrade like low density street to medium density street to high density street back down to medium density street if you like but you cannot go from high density street to medium density avenue you have to delete the entire street with the bulldozing tool which is right over here and you'll just have to bulldoze it like that and then you have to remake it and it'll get rid of all of the houses on it granted people will come back there you have to remark it which we're gonna get to in a minute it's really annoying so I advise you to start with medium density avenues in like general places and then probably go you know medium density streets if you're willing to spend the money so I'm just kinda gonna make a street around here large square so that you guys can just get the general idea stuff doesn't need to look really fancy and we can connect you can connect any size street that you want we're just gonna connect it I'm making everything on these grid lines which you have an option to turn on and off but I like them on just because they kind of help me keep things organized they make things look really nice but if you want like a unique place you can just kind of turn them off mess around have some fun and see what see what comes out of uh, all your work and I mean they can look it can look pretty cool guys trust me so now we just got these like pretty square plots of land and I'd say that's good and now we need to go to the zoning tool so green zoning is residential that's where people can build houses eventually get to apartments blue is commercial zoning which is where obviously people will go to shop stuff like that it'll attract tourists and then industrial zone is where the jobs come from that's pretty important because if you have a big residential zone you need big industrial zone or a decent size and vice versa so you always want to get these down now you can drag like you see me doing right now around the roads and then you have that but that honestly takes a while so if you hit control and left click it makes the entire enclosed area residential so I'm holding control down right now and just clicking now that's a really I guess useful thing to know because like you know I, I right here I would drag it because I don't want this to be residential but it's most of the time you're gonna use control so back to roads now we want to get an industrial area going and a good tip to do that I didn't actually look at is to go to the wind map now you can see the wind is going from the left side of my screen to the right and you want to build your industrial area so that the residential area is not downwind because pollution will blow towards your residential area and make people unhappy so anything that creates pollution like um, industrial areas you want to have them away blowing so that residential area is not downwind so since we already have the residential area done we're gonna take medium density street just like the residential area actually you know what right here would probably be a good place for a high density street we've already got our main street but you know we're building into the industrial area so I'm just gonna do another box just like I did before and we're gonna make that the industrial area now there's probably gonna be a decent amount of traffic right now because I do have a pretty bad way of getting in there's only one way getting in that's really bad that is something you want to avoid at almost all costs so we're gonna have to go back and fix that once we get all these places marked but I'm doing this in the order that you would do a normal area because you want to get down these places so people will start coming in and the yellow like I said is industrial it's where the jobs will be coming from I'm holding down control and I'm clicking so it's getting the whole box in there so I'm also like right here if you have a straight part if you hold down control it'll only select that it won't go like across this entire you know long road but you know like see now it's it's covering a decent amount covering a decent amount here but it didn't select all of this because if it selected all of that it obviously you would not want that so it doesn't do that but right here I actually do want industrial and you can see people are starting to build I'll speed this up so we can see our city advancing and I can show you guys so now you can see that we start need we need to start getting power water and sewage these are probably the three most important things because people need those to live and I'm gonna start with the water tower and that automatically brings up the water map 
Now, you can see the scales, it's pretty much, you can probably already tell actually, is that dark blue is good, that's a lot of water, and then as it gets closer to white, that's less water. So you want to build it on top of a dark blue, and it's going to have to be on a road. So I usually build it in my industrial area, so I'm going to place it down right there, and it's going to start pumping water, you'll be able to see that with the blue. It's going to start pumping water to these houses. You'll always be able to see this when it comes to sewage, power, um, water, and you can see it's getting to the houses, and they'll stop complaining about water. You got those blue little circles right on their houses. People are happy now, except power. So power is now red, and you can see that there's no power. People aren't happy. So typically, you start with a wind power plant, and there's really no great place for wind because typically it's always the same amount of wind in every space, you see 8 miles an hour, it's not really changing. So we're just going to plop that down right there, just in a kind of position that's not really that, I don't know, I guess intrusive on like the rest of your place. And if you have the money, you can plop down and edit this so that you have another turbine. Now you're not going to want to buy a large horizontal turbine because those are pretty expensive and I believe you actually may need to research them. but we can now get into editing our different utilities. So utilities will always have a sign that you can add just to make them look nice. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really do anything. But if you're worried about utilities not really working at first, that's because they need to hire people. Now they'll hire people just like a normal job and they'll deduct money from your the money that you're making because obviously, you know, they cost money and you're the mayor. So you can also add more turbines, more advanced turbines, and a service road. Now you need a road connecting to where you're going to place your turbines or whatever you're adding on to it. You can be adding, uh, you know, with garbage, you can add more garbage trucks, and you can add places to burn the garbage. Stuff like that needs to be connected, just like these turbines. So we're going to take these small turbines and we're going to put them down and you can see that the option to put them down is all across the road but nowhere else so you, you can just move this road around you know we can kind of come to the side here and now you have the option to put it to the side so that right there is now powering the whole city you can see the map becoming yellow and yep people are happy now so it's not red down here anymore now we can go back and we can make a little bit more road and I believe right here is actually probably the perfect place to do this we'll take a medium density street we're gonna go across and we can't actually go up there unfortunately but we can make this into a nice shopping place now this will probably create a lot of traffic but we'll worry about that in the near future when we get to it so we're gonna make this a commercial zone we can probably make those a little bit smaller to get more shops, but I'm not too worried about that. We can also make this right here commercial, that side, and some sides are blocked, but, you know, for now, this should be enough commercial. Can't imagine people need that much since we don't have too many residents. Now, I guess I can go over the UI a little bit while we're just gaining some residents right now. When you make a town hall, you'll be able to rename your city, which is right here. I actually... Yeah, I believe you can rename your city, or your um, yeah your city after you get a town hall. But because we're in sandbox mode, I think we can do it right now. So let's name this tutorial city. Next, you can see how happy everyone is. You can see residential, commercial, industrial. So commercial is going down a bit. I'm not too worried about that. Everyone seems pretty happy. Next, you can see your smolians, which is money for your Sims. You can have taxes which you will need to have upgrades for. A lot of this you would need research for. That is the only unfortunate part about Sandbox is you have to realize that you're going to need to research a lot of this. You're going to need to upgrade certain things in your region for a lot of this. So you will only be able to change taxes after you've made upgrades to your town hall. And then you're able to tax lower, middle, and higher class. Typically you raise, you know, I'll do this. I'll raise higher class to 11, medium class to 10, and keep low class at nine and you can see right down here expenses and income you can see what you're taking money away with what you're getting from if you're exporting selling stuff to other people and then you can 
go to your bonds. Now, bonds are like loans that you can take out that you pay back over time, or you can decide to pay back all at once if you have the money. So we can take out a bond here for you know $100,000 and pay only 700 per hour, and you pay back more than you take out. At the beginning of the game, you'll probably be taking out bonds a lot to get enough money to make your roads and things. Don't worry, that's completely normal. It's not. There's nothing wrong with that. I do that all the time. And now you can look around the city and you can see that everyone started to build stuff, but there's always more you can do because your city is progressively going to grow. So next, we can go to the sewage. Now, it shows that there's pretty much just little things of crap like floating around, you know, not really going anywhere, so we need to get rid of those. Now, we're going to use a sewage outflow pipe. You don't want that near your water because that can pollute the ground. So we're going to keep it away from our water, and we're just going to put it down. You can't edit that at all, it just works. It works perfectly fine, everything goes there. And, you know, a sewage treatment plant will be really good, but you obviously need to research more for that. And that's pretty much what you'll probably build in your utility city. So, now that we've got the three essentials down, we can start looking at other important things. So, right now, what we normally can build when we first start out will be a town hall. It's free, doesn't cost anything, because you're going to want a town hall. You pretty much need one. So, we're going to want to build it so we can add an attachment. I usually like to put it at a pretty nice place in town. It makes everyone really happy. And that's pretty much just because they have like people to complain to. So, you can edit that, and I'll show you guys. You can add all these different um, kind of additions to it that do certain things. Such as, utilities will allow you to make the sewage treatment plant, or better power stuff. Or, you know, the water. The Department of Transportation will let you have airports and stuff. Uh, really good transportation. Obviously, you add these to cities that are specialized, or that you want to specialize in the certain areas. So, finance will let you tax uh, each zone, depending on um, what zone they're in, or like uh, medium, high class, like taxes, you'll be able to change those. So, you, you want to go through and like pretty much pick what you want to do at the beginning, like if you want, you know, to be getting excess energy and send that to other places, you do the Department of Utilities. If you want to, you know, be a tourism city, you might do Department of Tourism. You might do Department of Safety. You know, it's, you get to pick which ones you want. Education City, Department of Education, all that stuff. It's pretty simple. And now we can start going into slightly important stuff. Now, these four right here, you have waste disposal, fire, health, and police. Those are not mandatory to have, like you don't need to have those, but you're gonna want them. So we can go through and we can go waste disposal because you're gonna need to get people's trash. And we can build that. Can we build that right here? Yes we can. So now if we go to editing this, I didn't leave much room, but it sh you can place other like Gar you can place garbage trucks other areas, so we can just pop down a couple of those. You'll be able to see how many of how many it's collecting every day. You can add dump zones, which are pretty much where they can put the trash, or you can add incinerators. Now, these are the ones that create, obviously, the pollution, and obviously we looked at it, so we're not going to be putting pollution into the residential area, which will make them very happy. So now we want to go to our firemen. And we want a fire station. Now, the fire station is pretty small. Don't need to worry about where it goes. I like to put it over where my industrial areas are so we don't have a huge industrial fire. Put it right in the center. And then we'll edit that. This is very important, guys. This is really important to edit. You're going to want to add a bell. That makes them respond a lot faster. You can only have one. So just add one on there right when you can. Not too bad. It's like, what, 3,000? Then you can add garages. Now, you may be surprised these actually cost a lot. You don't need to add that many. I can't imagine you'll have that many fires. And they'll be pretty good about getting to them. You don't really have that many places burned down. And if you do, if you go to Bulldoze, it'll tell you how many abandoned buildings and how much rubble you need to get rid of. They're marked as rubble. And abandoned buildings are just because people left because they didn't like your place. So, unfortunately, that does happen. So you can see right now we're getting a lot of traffic. If we go to our road, it actually marks where the traffic is. So, if I go to road upgrade, this is a perfect way to show this, I can click on that road and I can upgrade it to high density avenue, 
hide and see streetcar. Now I can go down here. It changes at every intersection. If you notice, you can upgrade them. And I'll just upgrade all of these so that it gets rid of a little bit of the traffic. And you can see they're a lot bigger now, the roads. But we're going to want to make more ways to get up. And I, it's actually kind of annoying with this, it would appear, because everything... Like, I believe you can probably get up, like, right through here. So let's try that. Let us not do that, though. Let's use medium density. And we'll go behind here. Kind of create smooth enough terrain for the road. Okay, well, I guess we can bend it a bit. I like things to be straight. But, you know, we can bend them a bit. And we can just get rid of that little messed up road right there. So that's a really easy way to take care of traffic. Just make extra roads going up. This place would appear like it's really bad for traffic. Mainly because, you know, there's only a couple ways to get up there. Not many roads. So, you know, it happens. But you can see, we can also add a train here for transportation. We'll get to that in a bit. So, there's a lot of people wanting industrial places. And it's telling you right now that they want that with the yellow zones. But we're not going to worry too much about that right now. We're going to stay going on the slight essentials. So we're having injured sims. And it's telling us that zero out of the two um, injured sims are being treated per day. So we're going to want to get a clinic down. You don't need to worry about having a hospital. So we're going to get a clinic down. And I'm actually probably going to place this in a decent, decent place. It's pretty close to uh, the residential area. We're going to add an ambulance and a patient room wing you'd be surprised at how often you're going to need to add those because a lot of people start getting hurt when you have high population areas and as you get like apartments and stuff more people are going to require obviously more people are going to live there so that more people are going to require you know that you have more hospitals more stuff available now next we go to police police aren't actually that important at the very beginning but, you know, later on, you're going to want to get a police station down. I get it more near my industrial areas just because, you know, those places are not my industrial areas. My apologies. Um, I get it more near my commercial areas because those are the places that really get screwed over. And I don't really add um, jail cells. I just kind of add police cars. So I only add really one of those. I don't think I've ever added jail cells, actually. And yeah, we can see right here is that, oh, we can watch this ambulance. It's going to work. Yep. So now we can go to education. Education is not vital. You don't need education, but it'll make people happy. And so you just add one little level of education. I guess we can add that. Most likely take a high density street, extend it. Oh, can I, oh it's a place building. That's right. Just extend it over here. Connect it. And we're going to add a school. So grade school is all you can typically add. And then as you research, you can get high school and community college and university. But grade school is good enough. And you're going to need a school bus stop, which can just kind of be put down anywhere. You just want to get a decent amount of green in every place and it makes people really happy you can see that look at all those happy faces so that should be good for the education now we're gonna wanna worry about mass transit because that can get rid of a lot of traffic and a shuttle bus depot is the way to do it guys so just plop that down anywhere and we're just gonna put down shuttle buses you they actually have space for them you don't need to add anything as you can see there's a lot of options for them, so I'm going to put down three. Probably should be enough. And now you're going to have to add bus stops, just like you did with the school, so that people can get picked up by the bus. I think the industrial area and the residential area are really important, not the not the uh, shopping as much. But, you know, people have to work there too, so you might as well slap some down. And put some at school. So there you go. Now people are going to have the buses, and hopefully we don't see as much traffic in this general area. You can see it's kind of it's kind of getting backed up, mainly because there's a lot of intersections here going to really important places. Other than that, though, it's not too bad. 
you know, you can go through and upgrade a couple more roads, like in here. I'm not going to make you endure watching me upgrade all these roads, but you can if you want to. You know, it's not that terrible to do. Actually, we can upgrade this one right here, because that's actually a pretty big road. And then, we can go into parks. So parks, guys, these are the way you want to get different kind of wealth people. If you want to, you know, tax rich people a lot, you got to give them a nice place to live. So what I typically do is set aside our place for rich people. Now it might sound a little bit mean, but whatever. So I guess I can talk about this now. Roads have different options when you place them. You can place them in a straight kind of line, or you can set them to be square roads, which will, you just kind of like drag out into a square. You can get curved roads, which I'm going to use, and eventually make a cul-de-sac. That's what I use with the rich people. It looks really nice, in my opinion. A little bit tricky to work, but, you know, you get the hang of it eventually. Oh, it's so difficult to use. Oh, okay, you get there. Don't worry. Actually, you know what? I'll do this. I'll do a funky little place. You can also draw straight with the curve tool, but, you know, you mainly want to use it to curve. So, this will be a place for rich people. You can also draw your own kind of street if you really want to. Like, I'm not going to use that. Obviously, it looks horrible, but you can do that, and you can also just draw a circle if you really want a perfect, you know, circle to draw. So, now we want to get down some residential area markers in there on this side. We're going to have to shift click on this side. Shift click on this side, shift click on this side because we don't want to control click. So you now people are going to start moving in there. And right here I guess we can do industrial because there is an industrial demand. We can keep those people happy. If you see down here in the bottom right hand corner you can see the demands. There's no commercial demands. The industrial demand is going down and there is residential demand. There's not really high uh, wealth residential demand right now but we're going to change that. So parks are a really good way to change who you want to live there. You can see basic is for, you know, uh, lower class, sports and nature are for middle class, and the plazas and formal are for the upper class. Typically, I won't go with like big ones, but I'll go with um, like, what was that one called again? <laughs> Medium sculpture garden, and you'll put it in a, in a good place like right here. And that'll make a lot of the people happy. It'll raise the value for the land. It's really good. And then back over here, we can drop down in the where we want like medium kind of wealth people to go. You take nature. I think this is a really easy way to do it is a short tree row. You gotta bulldoze some houses. You don't have to bulldoze them and get rid of them, but plop those down. And you will make these people a lot happier, get a lot more medium wealth people targeted. And it's really important to keep, you know, certain areas open for certain places. Put down some basic stuff. Blacktop Park. Just drop that somewhere because you really want to have diverse kind of areas since people are going to need to go to all these shops and eventually there won't be enough people buying from those shops and you do not want that to happen so we can see the traffic lowering. people are using the buses it's all good keeping the traffic low now we can go to I guess you can go to disasters these obviously you have to get achievements for but when you do, you'll be able to do like meteor showers, aliens, stuff like that. It's pretty cool, but I don't really know why you'd want to use that. I guess just for fun. So guys, now that we've gone over slight basics, I guess we can go over a little bit more. The city specializations. We have mining, drilling, trading, electronics, culture, and gambling. Gambling will cause more crime, just so you guys know. Those will probably be in your tourism cities. And we're not really going to go over those right now, but, you know, those are really good to add. They'll attract a lot of people. Casinos, they cost a shitload. Next, I guess we can go over the Expo Center. These will also be kind of in your entertaining areas, the Expo Center and the Pro Stadium. These are just kind of cool things to add. They're tourist attractions, but they may look a little bit corny with what you, you're doing in your place, but, you know... Add them if you like. I have nothing against them. Electronics. You want to have an education city so that you can educate people. And then you'll be able to do all this. You're going to have to add a department of education. 
you're going to need smart people and eventually you'll get up to a lot of electronic stuff you can have your trading which is actually really important i'm going to go over this a trade depot is crucial guys crucial so i'm going to get rid of a lot of these stupid places to put this down a trade depot is how a lot of your industrial places are going to ship things out now these are really important to edit if you don't want to edit other places don't but edit this so i'm going to go over the basics you're going to be able to get crude oil raw ore uh coal and freight I typically go with freight because you're going to have freight from your industrial places and I go with crude oil because I usually go for oil which is what I'm going to show you in this uh, tutorial kind of stuff, this guide for SimCity getting started out, all the basics. So we can store stuff now and then we can export it with this too. You can have manage global markets and you can say I want to export the oil, you can also import it or use locally. So now we can go over oil because that's the next thing we want. When you pull up oil, it's going to give you an oil map. And you can see right down here, this is a perfect place to put an oil thing because it's going to pump a lot of oil. This is not the maximum amount you can get. But that is a decent place. It's on a very dense thing of oil. And it is crucial that you add these pumps. You're going to want as many pumps as you can get. You're going to want to slap them down, especially if you're going to want to build up to getting petroleum and plastics because you're going to need to pump out a lot of barrels every day you're going to want to maximize the amount of oil you're getting try and get them all over this black area so you can just you can just get as much oil as possible I typically put down a sign because I like the way it looks and you can add uh, delivery truck garages because you need those to bring them to the trading area so they'll start bringing them over to the trade depot you'll start storing and exporting oil and in here you can look once it's just hiring people the amount of barrels per day will start increasing and that'll be really good so next you can go to mining I've never really gotten into mining but when you select it it's gonna bring you to the ore map the ore maps over here in our really rich area so I'm not gonna plop it down let's see if there's any other areas not really but you can put them down and when you do they're gonna do the same thing as the oil you're gonna put down extra stuff over the area they're gonna give you an amount of oil or coal in this case that are going to be left there after or when you'll hit zero which will take a really long time even if you're going at triple speed like I am right now if you're curious as to why I'm getting so many people and getting um you know growing really fast and be like be uh, cognizant of the idea that this city is not meant to be a good city okay I've obviously I'm doing my single player you guys can go check that if that out if you like I'm doing some really cool cities in there, doing the specialized cities, sending people here, to here, to there, you know, everywhere we're going. But this city is just how do you want to get started. I always start out with a basic city when I start out the game, just to kind of get a feel for the area. And I can start sending some stuff to help out other places. You know, if I get excess power, possibly make it into utility city. So, now we can go over that. So, you can see right here, you know, we're in the city view. You can see everything we can build with that next we can go to the region view so you can look around the region here you can see the great work you can see the other three areas so you also have the option you see how these are flashing you can send play or you can send vehicles and stuff from one city to another to help them out so if you're in one city and you're like oh I don't have garbage you can you know the other city may just be nice and it'll be out, or you can pay for, you know, water, electricity, stuff like that if you have excess. Right here we have a lot of fire, We've got health and police, you can just send those wherever you need to go. Mayors may also visit other cities, just a cool thing. And then, great works we can go over. These need to get approved, and you need to, obviously, you know, it'll tell you, the little orange thing tells you what you need, they're really expensive. But if you're working with some friends, you can all contribute to it, but one mayor is going to need to pay for it. So, that's pretty much the basics, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I was able to help you guys starting out. Keep in mind, this wasn't supposed to be an in-depth tutorial. If you want to see some more of those, be sure to post in the comments. And for these of you guys that were looking forward to me doing a Let's Play today, I do apologize. But someone requested this, and I thought it would be a fun idea since I haven't seen some decent basic tutorials out there. And this is probably more enjoyable and more interactive, I guess, than watching or than um, reading a guide, 
one of my friends showed me the guide. Didn't think it did that great of a job because it was kind of boring, got off track. But if you like this, guys, be sure to subscribe, support me. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Post in the comments because that all helps me. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you later.